Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here and welcome back to another Monster Hunter Cross video and another episode of the Weapon Workshop. We're up to episode 3 now. The first episode was of course the Sword and Shield. Last week's episode was all about the Hammer and this week we're turning our attention to the Insect Glaive. There is also a hell of a lot of stuff to get through thanks to the fact that the Insect Glaive is a rather unique and somewhat complex weapon. So let's not waste any time and let's get started. As always, I'm going to begin this guide by going over the weapon in guild style, as it will be most familiar to those of you that have played Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, but if you're new to the series, then consider this your foundation. Also, just before I get into the moves themselves, I want to give a super quick brief intro to the weapon. See, in order for this guide to make sense, you need to understand that the Insect Glaive is unique because it has two main components. The Glaive, which is the staff that you attack with, and the Kinsect, which is the insect on your arm that you send out to gather extracts from monsters. Gathering different colour extracts will result in a number of different effects, which I'll speak about a little bit later in this video. But for the time being, keep that in mind and now let's take a look at the moves. I'm going to begin by going over the unbuffed non-extract combos, and we'll then switch over to the buffed combos afterwards. First of all, with your weapon drawn, from idle, pressing X will perform a vertical up slash. Pressing X twice will start with the up slash and then go into a diagonal slash and pressing X a third time will then complete the combo with a horizontal swiping slash. If you then press A, you'll perform a side slash, and pressing A twice will then follow up that first slash with a downward slash or slam. Alternatively, you can sub out the first A hit for an X attack instead, and press X then A for a vertical slash and then a downward slash. Extending that a little bit, a couple of basic combos you can do are XXAA, which will then result in a vertical, diagonal, and then horizontal slash, finished up with the downward slam. Alternatively, you can replace the first A hit with another X attack for XXXA, and that third hit then becomes a counterclockwise horizontal slash. Now pressing forward and X will perform a poke, and you can then follow this up with two subsequent X attacks for a down slash, horizontal slash follow up. With your weapon sheath, pressing forward and X will perform a front flip slam, but this can also be replicated with your weapon drawn and pressing forward and A. Furthermore, you can also follow that front flip with a second A input for a follow up down slash. Now returning to the poke for a second, you can also follow up a poke into a backflip slash by pressing forward and X to perform the poke, and then pulling back and pressing A to perform the backflip. You can also do this whilst idle after the second hit in the X combo, so X, X, back and A, or even after the second hit in the poke combo. Now moving on from there, pressing R will fire out a pheromone bullet, which if attached to a monster will act as a homing beacon for your kinset. Alternatively, you can hold down R to bring up an aiming reticle, and this will let you aim the bullet instead. Also, if you press R after any hit, it will instead strike the monster with the back of your staff, dealing impact damage as opposed to cutting damage, and this will also leave a pheromone mark or homing beacon on the monster. Again, this can be used to direct your kinsect. If you then press R and X together, you'll send your kinsect out, and if you haven't used the pheromone bullet, it'll then go in a straight line. And this is your primary method for gathering extracts from monsters. You want to get into the habit of facing the monster and just throwing out your kinsect simply because once you learn where the various extracts come from, this will be your fastest way to gain the triple buff, which I'll speak about shortly. With your weapon sheath, you can also draw straight into a kinsect throw by pressing R, X and A together. Alternatively, you can hold down X and R and charge it up before you send it out, and on impact it'll deal more damage. See, while kinsects are primarily for gathering extracts, they do also deal damage and can therefore be used defensively should you want to, but that is a topic for another video. Moving on from there, pressing R and A together will call your Kinsect back provided you have stamina. And speaking of which, one of the changes to the Insect Glaive in Monster Hunter Cross is the addition of a Kinsect stamina bar. See, Kinsects have always had stamina, but in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate the bar was hidden. However, now we have a bar to illustrate just how much we have left. Sending your Kinsect out and changing directions will deplete this, but calling it back will restore two actions worth of stamina. Finally, pressing R and B together will vault you into the air, and doing this without any input will vault you forwards, whilst holding back will vault you backwards. And you can also perform these vaults during combos to vault in or out should you need to. Finally, whilst airborne, pressing X will perform a single down slash. Alternatively, pressing A will fire off a pheromone bullet mid-air. Do also bear in mind that this latter move can be used evasively given that it pushes you back slightly, so if you need to reposition yourself in the air, then consider using this move. Now, that was a look at the unbuffed combos, but now let's talk about the buffed combos. See, I mentioned earlier that gathering extracts will result in a number of different effects. Some are passive, whilst others will actually alter your combos. So to begin with, before we talk about the moves, let's talk briefly about the extracts. 
If you gather just white extract and nothing else, this will increase your movement speed for 90 seconds and also increase your jump height. And this remains active all whilst there is a white blob in your Kinsect gauge at the top. If you are new to Insect Glaive, then gathering different colour extracts depends on where your Kinsect hits the monster. Typically white is from the legs, orange is from the chest area, red is from the head and green is from the tail. But it can vary depending on the monster. Now if you hold only red extract, you'll get a small increase in your attack power and it will also alter some of your attack animations which I'll talk about soon and this lasts for 60 seconds. Standalone orange will give you a small increase to defense and you'll gain some knockback resistance and this lasts for 45 seconds and grabbing green will replenish a small bit of your health. However, if you combine certain extracts, you'll also gain additional effects. Red and white will give you a small attack boost, plus you'll also gain the additional bonuses that came with the red and white extracts. Orange and white, however, will give you a small defense boost, earplugs, and also the other orange and white bonuses. And finally, if you have all three, this is what we call the triple buff. This gives you an increase to your attack, defense, earplugs, and all the other benefits. The values are a little different to Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, but fundamentally it does the same thing. This buff state typically lasts for 60 seconds, as do the red and white buff or the orange and white statuses too, unless of course you have extract extender on your Kinsect, which I do in this case. Now technically speaking, the buffed extract combos I spoke about earlier can be seen by holding just the red extract, but for the purposes of this video I'll be doing it with the triple buff active, because this is how you really want to play with the Insect Glade. See, your first priority should always be to get the triple buff. And once you've done that, you can then go about attacking the monster. So, with this buff active, your triple X combo now looks like this. You'll notice the attack animations have changed slightly and now have a few more hits to them. The A combo now looks like this. Forward A still does the same frontward slam, and you can still backflip after the second X hit. However, whilst in the air, you now do two hits as opposed to one, so this is great for mounting a monster. Plus, with this buff active, you now have access to an infinite combo. If you press X, X and then A, you can then cycle this indefinitely. X, X, A, X, X, A, you get the idea. This will not stop provided you have your triple buff. Of course, bear in mind you're not always going to be able to use this simply because the monster won't necessarily just stand there and let you hit it, but should you have an opening, this is a great thing to use. So as you can now begin to see, there is a lot to this weapon, but those, in a nutshell, are the Insect Glade Foundations. Now let's jump over to the other styles and see how things change. Now again, as I always state, the main draw for Striker Style is the fact that it allows you to use three hunting arts, and that of course also means you can pick the three weapon specific ones should you want to. That is especially important to keep in mind when looking at Striker Style Insect Glaive because things are quite drastically different. See, in Striker Style, X is solely used for attacking, whilst A is now responsible for controlling your Kinsect. Pressing X three times will perform the standard triple X combo that you saw in Guild Style, however it doesn't end there. Pressing X a fourth time adds an overhead slam to the end of the combo, but it also doesn't end there. In fact, X is now an infinite combo. You can press X endlessly and you'll continue to chain attacks together no end. And finally, pressing forward and X will now do the front overhead slash, which is normally on forward and A if you're in guild style. It is actually quite cool, albeit basic, but it does mean you lose quite a few moves. See, A is now responsible for sending out your Kinsect, so you've lost your A combo. R plus A still calls your Kinsect back, but R plus X now has no function. The R button standalone still fires a pheromone bullet, whether that be on the ground or in the air, and R and B will still vault you forwards or backwards. But as you can see, you've lost quite a bit. The counterclockwise slice from A is now gone, and you have no backflip slam after the stab or the double X. Those are all gone. This also applies to the triple buff. Your combos will of course change slightly and gain extra hits as they did in guild style, but again, everything is done through X. So the bonus for this style, aside from the three hunting arts, could be seen as the simplified style itself. After all, Insect Glaive can be a little daunting when you first use it, so Striker Style definitely does make it a little bit more accessible. But if you are an Insect Glaive veteran, then I think you're going to find your fix elsewhere. Now moving over to Aerial Style, again this style only allows the use of one hunting art, so make sure you choose wisely, but what about the moves? Well the X combo is back to normal, it's the exact same as Guild Style, Vertical Slash, Diagonal Slash, Horizontal Slash. The A combo is also back, meaning your Kinsect operation is back to the R combos as it is in Guild, and that of course means A and then A forms your Side Slash and then your Down Slam. However, Forward A no longer does the Forward Slicing Slam, instead it now does the exact same move as Neutral A. However, the forward slicing slam is still in the unsheathed attack, so it's not completely gone. 
Your vault is still present, however your neutral or forward vault now propels you forward a considerable distance. It's actually kind of ridiculous, but it does of course make this great for closing the gap or hitting a fleeing monster. Backwards vault however is still the same. And again, whilst buffed, your attack animations will change providing you with additional hits on some moves. However, being aerial style, it's when we get airborne that things get interesting. See, whilst unbuffed, your regular airborne X attack now behaves the same as the buffed aerial attack in guild style. In other words, what I mean by that is instead of doing one hit, it does two hits. But if you're buffed, you now perform this spinning cartwheel attack which can hit up to three times if the monster's big enough and you fall far enough. See, with most aerial attacks, you typically delay your input so as to ensure that you hit the monster and not the air above it. But with Aerial Insect Glaive, whilst buff, you want to make sure you hit X at the peak of your jump. This gives the animation enough time to wind up and begin spinning on the way down, thus allowing you to land as many hits as possible. As a side note, it's particularly fun to do this on Gamuto simply because he is so massive that it is really easy to land every single one of those hits. And finally, moving over to Bushido. Again, this only allows the use of one hunting art, so make sure you choose wisely. But taking a look at the moves, the first two hits of your triple X combo are the same as guild style. However, the third hit is now the backflip slash. You can still perform the backflip combos like the poke backflip with forward X, backwards A again. Volt is also back to normal, so no crazy forward propulsion on this one. And your aerial attacks are now back to how they were in guild. Unbuffed, you perform one hit whilst airborne. Buffed, you perform two. And again, of course, being buffed also alters your attack animations and adds additional hits. However, the main changes in Bushido style come in the form of Kinsect. See, this time, no matter how much stamina your Kinsect has, sending it out will always use all of it up. In other words, you can send out your Kinsect, but you cannot call it back or redirect it. So if you're going to send it out manually, you need to make sure it hits. And you might now be wondering why anyone would ever want to use this if that's the case. I mean, surely it makes getting the triple buff a nightmare, right? Wrong. See, when Bushido style removes something, it's typically because that something is now tied to a Bushido evade. And that is exactly the case. See, after a Bushido evade, if you press X, you'll attack, but you'll also throw out your Kinsect in a loop around you, and it ends the loop by coming straight back. If you hit the monster with your attack, then your Kinsect will also gather the extract during its loop. Of course, that does mean you need to be slightly mindful of your positioning if you want to gather all three extracts, but it's actually pretty forgiving. Provided you can get three well-placed Bushido evade attacks on a monster, you can quite easily gather your triple buff without too much trouble. The main difference with this style, however, is that it just changes the way you play the weapon. See, as an Insect Glaive user, if you play Monster Hunter for Ultimate, you'll typically prioritise extract gathering before combat, but with Bushido, you get stuck in straight away and gather as you go. This can of course mean that on some monsters that are a little bit hard to gather from, you might spend the first minute or so of the fight unbuffed, but once you have it, it's quite easy to stay in there and keep it topped up, whilst also being hyper-aggressive with your combos. Also, if you pair this with the Extract Hunter Hunting Art, which I'll speak about in a minute, then you've always got a backup if things get tricky. And finally, one last mention, you can also press A after a Bushido Evade to perform an attack, but this does not send out your Kinsect, so it is purely offensive and there is no utility. And that is pretty much it for Bushido style. So finally, as a super quick overview, here are the three weapon-specific hunting arts. The first one is Insect Pad. This surrounds you with a spinning ball of insects and it attacks anything that comes close. This can also be used to deal additional mounting damage to a monster if it's active whilst you're on its back. Extract Hunter, on the other hand, will send your Kinsect out with incredible force, allowing it to gather all three extracts at once if it hits a monster. But this only works on large monsters, not small. It also goes out in a perfectly straight line, so if you're going to use this, make sure you don't miss. But this is also the move I said was good to use with Bushido style. And the reason for this is because if you have trouble gathering nectar on a particular monster through Bushido evades, then simply attack till this art is ready, use it, and you then have your triple buff. It also replenishes pretty fast once you're in full swing on your buff combos, so again it's quite easy to reuse. Finally you have Soaring Insect Slash, which launches you into the air, attacking on the way up, and performing a powerful down slash on the way down. Also, if you're using either Striker or Guild style, and you happen to have Insect Clad and Soaring Insect Slash, then if you use Insect Clad first, it'll make the final hit on Soaring Insect Slash much more powerful. So finally, as always, let's wrap up this video by talking about my favourite style. This one was actually a pretty close one, to be honest, because each style brings something unique to the table. Bushido, once you get used to it, is great because if you can find an effective way that works for you to gather extracts, then having Bushido dodge with a glaive allows you to be hyper-aggressive in your combos. However, Aerial Style on the other hand has pretty much everything that's good about Guild Style with the added power in the air and the freedom to control your Kinsect without an insane stamina penalty like in Bushido. 
So for me, I've been having the most fun and success with Aerial Style, but again, that is just my personal opinion. I encourage you to try all of them and find a style that works for you. Either way, that is it for this episode. Apologies, it was a little bit long. There was a lot of stuff to talk about with this weapon, but if you did enjoy it, then a like would be massively appreciated. This one in particular took me quite a while to make, so your support is always super appreciated. Also comment down below if you have any questions and be sure to tune in next Wednesday for the next episode of Weapon Workshop. Thanks again for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.